Hey, how you doing? I'm good, how you doing? What is this? 17th century headlock key gun. A key gun and a lock. Let's take a look at the lock here. It's pretty freaking heavy, wow. Yeah, it's his own weapon. <laughs> I'm at the pawn shop today trying to sell my padlock key gun. It's a gun, it's a key lock, and it looks fun. I believe it's worth $5,000, and I want to sell it now because I would like to infuse my businesses with some capital. This is pretty freaking cool. Does it work? Yes, it works. There we go. And then uh, you take it off. OK, um, how much are you looking to get for this? 5000 um, the condition looks amazing. It looks really good. It's got a nice patina on it, but it's not like rusted or anything. It almost looks too good, you know? So I'd like to get someone in to take a look at it because stuff like this is faked and I'm gonna need to make sure it's authentic and put a real solid value on it. Um, very cool with that. All right, wait right here. Give me just a few minutes and I'll have someone write down. Cool. I feel great about an expert coming in, because in my eyes, I'm pretty certain that this is a wonderful piece of uh, armory. Well, that is cool. So collectors refer to these as key guns, and they're actually really rare. You don't find them very often. This dates somewhere from about 1680 to 1720. It's difficult to pin down exactly. Uh -huh. What's amazing about this is that it has the actual lock. Do you know if the key works in it? Yeah, it actually works. It really does? Yes, yeah, sir. So there is a little marking behind the lock. You see that? So it looks like a coat of arms, or if it's German, a Wappen. And it, I can see sort of the outline of the side of an eagle, and then uh, there's a letter N on the top. So it's definitely German. I think that's the city of Nuremberg's coat of arms. I'm just going to pull the hammer back, OK? Oh, that's good. So it's also got what we call a dog lock. So this would allow it to be safe. This is essentially a safety, and that would allow the user to actually have it loaded, carry it around without it going off by accidentally pulling the trigger. I mean, this is a really nicely designed key gun. Usually these are very crude. I would be curious to see if it actually still functions, like if we could fire it. Is that something you'd be open to? Yes, sir. Sounds like fun. All right. He's asking quite a bit of money for it. What kind of price range could we put this in if it actually fires? I've seen key guns go as cheap as $500, but those are the very crude ones. Like I said, I've never seen one with its original lock. So if it functions well, also with the coat of arms on it, I think you're approaching $10,000. Ooh. Has Rick seen this yet? No, if we're going to go to the range and fire this, I'm definitely going to get him down there because you know how he is with guns and toys. Yeah, I think he's going to like this. Maybe we can meet in the gun range in a couple hours. It'll give me enough time to get Rick on the phone and have him meet up there. Sure. Sure. See you guys there. Yeah. Make sure you bring that. Absolutely. Can't wait to go to the gun range to see it fire and get it sold. Based off what I just heard from the expert, I think I can get more than 5000 Hey. Hey, hey, gentlemen, how you doing today? I'm Very good. good. How, how are you? Good. What's up? Hey. See it for yourself. So we've got an actual query correct padlock. And then here is the actual key gun. And you can see it's Oh, that been, is cool. Let me, yeah. let me take a look at it. And it works? It does work. Just give it a chest. So that. Yep. And then this lifts up. Yep. And then, OK. All right, Alex, what do you think? You want to get it loaded up? I brought a couple plates I'm going to go set up we can fire at. Yeah, sounds good. All, All right, right, where'd you get the plates? Well, I got them from the kitchen upstairs. Don't worry. There's more where they came from, Rick. It's about a 35 caliber, so I have balls, uh, some patches, and we're going to do a light load of triple F black powder. This is really collectible because it's odd. Key guns are out there, but usually they're pretty crude, and they don't work. All right, go for it, chum. So the trigger's just right down there. Okay. You ready? All right. I'm going to show you how this is done. <laughs> Three, two, fun. Oh, yeah, boy. <laughs> <laughs>
a third of the time. Yeah, exactly. But that that one, you can tell by the way in which it's built. It's, it's a really quality piece. It's sort of the top of key guns for its time. I mean, so what do you think it's worth? This has a padlock, and it functions as both a key and a gun, which is key. And the Nuremberg coat of arms on it, that, that really helps uh, the value and gives it some, some provenance. So based on all those things, I think in an auction, you get about 10000 for it. Damn. OK. I'll tell you if I get it, man. All right, good luck. All right. Thank you. Take care. So how much did you want for it? Um, let's go seven and a half. You bet you said five before we came out here. Yeah, but it was valued at 10000 now versus what I wanted for it. So okay, you got to well, be well, fair. You have to understand, OK? It's like this. You can put this in auction, and after all the fees, you get eight grand, but that might be two, three years from now. And if it goes in auction, you're never really sure what you're going to get for it. You might get four grand. Hmm. So I'm offering five grand. It's more than a fair offer. I'm thinking 5500 You know, I'm really thinking the five. Well, let's meet somewhere in the middle, like, you know, maybe 53. 52 and you got a deal. 52 it is. Rick, I'll take that. Where, where did, how did that just happen? That's how you close a deal. I'll take that. All right, All right I'll meet you five, back at the five. shop and write it up. I got 5,200 locked in and I'm super happy with the transaction. Couldn't have been a better day. Collect this gun, I'm gonna go catch Alex. He forgot his stuff. Chop. Don't forget the lock, Rick. <laughs>